Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 5, Control Logic. No more than one load should be placed in any circuit line between line 1 and line 2. Loads must be connected in parallel when more than one load must be connected in the line diagram. Control relay coils, solenoids, and pilot lights are loads that are connected directly or indirectly to line 2. Magnetic motor starter coils are connected to line 2 indirectly through normally closed overload contacts. Control devices are connected between line 1 and the operating coil. Two control devices can be connected in series or parallel to control a coil in a magnetic motor starter. Each line in a line diagram should be numbered starting with the top line and reading down. The locations of normally open contacts controlled by a device are determined by the numbers on the right side of the line diagram. Normally open contacts are indicated by numbers that are underlined to distinguish them from normally open contacts. Each wire in a control circuit is assigned a reference point on a line diagram to keep track of the different wires that connect the components in the circuit. Manufacturers include terminal numbers to identify and separate the different component parts included on individual pieces of equipment. Contacts found in different control lines that belong to the same control switch are illustrated using the dash line or numerical cross-reference method. Line cross-reference wire reference and manufacturer terminal numbers are used to simplify electrical prints. This will be section 5.2, line diagrams, signals, decisions, and actions. All control circuits are composed of signal, decision, and action sections. 5.3, logic functions. In AND logic, the load is on if both the control signal contacts are closed. In OR logic, the load is on if any one of the control signal contacts is closed. The decision section of any circuit may contain one or more logic functions. In NOT logic, the load is on only if the control signal contacts are closed. NOR logic is an extension of NOT logic in which two or more normally closed contacts in series are used to control the load. NAND logic is an extension of NOT logic in which two or more normally closed contacts are connected in parallel to control the load. Auxiliary contacts are added to provide memory to circuits with push buttons. An AND gate is a device with an output that is high only when both of the inputs are high. An AND gate may be used in an elevator control circuit. An OR gate is a device with an output that is high when either or both inputs are high. A NAND gate is a device that provides a low output when both inputs are high. A NOR gate is a device that provides a low output when either or both inputs are high. A common start-stop control circuit is created by adding the NOT logic of a stop button to the memory logic of magnetic coil contacts. Integrated circuits are thousands of semiconductors providing a complete circuit function in one small semiconductor package. Integrated circuits range in shape and size and include mini dip, dual in line, and flat pack. This will be section 5.4, common control circuits. Two stop buttons connected in series and two start buttons connected in parallel are used to control motors from two locations. Two stop buttons connected in series and two start buttons connected in parallel are used to control a motor from two locations. Two start-stop stations are used to control two separate magnetic motor starter coils with a common emergency stop protecting the entire system. Two motors can be started almost simultaneously from one location to prevent product separation or stretching. A pilot light is used with a pressure switch to indicate when a device is activated. A pilot light is used with a start-stop station to indicate when a device is activated. Not logic is used to indicate when a device is not operating. A sequence control circuit does not let the first conveyor operate unless the second conveyor has started and is running. A selector switch is used to provide a common industrial jog slash run circuit. This will be section 5.5, common circuit troubleshooting. When using the tie down troubleshooting method, one digital multimeter test lead should be placed or tied down on line two or the neutral conductor and the other lead should be moved through the circuit starting with line one, the hot conductor. When a magnetic motor starter overload contact is used in a circuit, the digital multimeter lead connected to line two 
can be moved to the other side of the load or the side connected directly to the starter coil to check if the overload is open. A good mechanical switch indicates source voltage when open and zero volts when closed. A good solid state switch indicates source voltage when open and a slight voltage drop when closed. When two pieces of wire touch because of damaged insulation, the wire produces a dead short across the circuit. A continuity tester can be used to test for short circuits. In a good circuit, a digital multimeter reads total circuit resistance when all open contacts are closed. In a circuit with a short, a digital multimeter reads near zero. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. Next will be uh, mechanical input devices, and I will see you over there.